everybody, today we have Transformers! More than meets the eyes. Robots in disguise, the Transformers. We have, um, the Ta Takara Tommy Netflix Transformers Spoilers Inside, uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Spoiler Box. It was on clearance at the Walmart I went to for $15. And they, they like, literally, I hope, I don't know if it's all, it seems like it's been still taped. It seems like it doesn't have a problem. But maybe, maybe it has a problem. Maybe somebody stole something from it. I don't know. But anyway, it's uh, pretty cool. But, like, the point is, they, like, wanted, like, anywhere else, if you didn't find this thing on clearance, it was, like, wanting, like, like, 60 bucks for this thing. And I'm like, that's crazy. Who the hell wants to pay 60 bucks? Well, I mean, diehard Transformer fans, maybe. But, jeez, really? 60 bucks? All right. Um... It looks like there may have been something in there. There might still be something in there. Golly. People taping stuff. So much tape. There may have been something else in here. I don't know what this is all about. Look, I haven't even seen anybody do any unboxing videos. What is this? Play-Doh? Really? Play-Doh? There's some black Play-Doh in here. What? I don't know. What? What is that all about? Black Play-Doh. Okay. This, I mean, seriously, it's black Play-Doh. That's what it feels like. Black Play-Doh. What's that all about? I have no idea. Uh, really? Is it it? That's it? All we got is this piece of cardboard? Man, I got it ripped off. Oh, let's turn it around and see what it is. Really? It's, um, looks like a special Optimus Prime. Is that all you got? Oh, it's Ultra Magnus. That's a cool, kind of cool box art right there. Cool, cool. So we got Ultra Magnus. And we got a little Minicon with him. He's got like three different guns here. So that's cool. So people paid 60 bucks for Ultra Magnus? Really? Really people? Y'all paid 60 bucks for this? You didn't even get to see what it was. Until after opening it. I feel sorry people paid that much for this. They tried to make it like an exclusive spoiler thing. It was it spoiler based on what? The uh the Netflix original series? What 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 what's so what's so great about this this spoiler? You bought this and then you got to know that later on the Netflix show you were gonna to get to see Ultra Magnus? Is is that what the big deal is? I mean, seriously, please, someone explain this to me. I mean, I like Transformers. Don't get me wrong. I think Transformers are cool. But I think Hasbro overcharges for their Transformer line. I mean, I know you can transform them into, like, a car trailer, I think, or something. I can figure it out. It comes with instructions, but I know he transforms probably into a car trailer. Yeah, they got instructions, but nobody uses those, right? It's more fun to see if you can actually transform them without the instructions. Transform us! Robots in disguise, the Transformers.
Yeah, I don't know. It's more fun to see if you can transform them without the instructions. Damn. Damn. That just completely popped out. Is it supposed to do that? I hope so. That just completely popped out. Bobby. Well, oh, boy. Anyway, he looks like. Damn pieces are just breaking off. Maybe they're supposed to break off? Hope so. Damn pieces. Transform them into your truck. Here. Transformers. Robots in disguise. Damn, did these pieces just break off? I think so. Shit. Damn. Damn. Transformers, robots in disguise. The Transformers. Damn. Is this piece supposed to break? Oh, no, okay, good. Hope. Damn. There. What is up with this piece? Maybe it... Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Stupid pieces. Transformers, robots in disguise. Why do these pieces never want to fit correctly? They act weird. They never want to fit. Does more stuff have to come off or something? Jeez. Really? More stuff? What is the point? Too many damn pieces. Fold. Okay, how is this supposed to work? Uh, I got it working, but I don't know if I got it working correctly. It's hard to freaking get these stupid things to work. I know that fits in there, but how? Uh, I'm gonna have to pause this and look at the root instructions because I can't figure it out. Okay, the instructions have no writing, only pictures. They should know I need both. I, I am an analytical mind. I cannot work with just pictures. I need writing and pictures. I need both. I need you to explain it to me better than just pictures. The pictures don't tell me this piece pops off. I need it to literally tell me this piece pops off. See these pieces that were right here? It said, it nowhere says pop this piece off. It should say pop the piece off. And I'll know. Now I got the first truck done. Now supposedly you can build, 
a bigger truck somehow this is like the little truck which he can also become a like see it, they got super huge mode and then they got some in it anyway they got like super huge mode and then they're like uh another mode because he has another head right here so you can build like the small mode so there's the small mode and a big mode which they didn't tell me yeah. they should have told me on there and they should explain how to do it in english writing more writing less pictures i know other people are visual but i need instructions guide explain i need talking or writing to go with my stuff finally after two hours of playing with the damn thing i figured out how to fucking get the damn thing together the only fucking problem is it's supposed to be a like carrier like car carrier or something and it has no like way to put something inside it without taking the damn trailer completely off and then putting it in there that's stupid also um i i would have made it where you could fold this thing completely straight down and these arms they don't fold but they should fold up into that they should fold up into this thing see these things right here these arms this these hold onto the arms when it's not in the when it's in the big form and this should these arms should be able to go straight into that so that it would connect together because the only connection that's really connecting this trailer on is this little loose connection here which is not enough connections also they need to write the instructions in some english too to go along with the uh pictures too much pictures not enough english way too much pictures now this guy is supposed to convert into some kind of gun thing Maybe he won't be as freaking complicated to put together as the other freaking thing was. Alright, now I got the guns on it. Now these guns can like, you can bend them down like this when not in use. These guns, they gotta stay. Now I like this, it shows in the picture the back gun facing this way. Which uh, is actually kind of stupid because... Where is it going to shoot? It's going to blow itself up shooting that way. Now if you have it this way, you can use this thing right here folds up and down so it can like go shoot whatever is attacking you from up. Plus it can go up to this amount and this amount and it's blocked by these little mini guns, which is pretty cool. But also uh, you could put it here where you could give it complete 360 attack ability but you couldn't give it 360 attack ability when these come out because when these came out they'd be blocking your 360 so I like get here even though the instructions have it facing the other area then it has this little mini kind he turns into a gun but he can only wear this, hold this gun. I guess you could put it right there. <laughs> but he really can only hold this gun when. <laughs> yeah, when he's uh, in the big form, he can hold that gun. Now he's a truck. Now I gotta figure out how to turn him back into Ultra Magnus. Yay, really fun. You already saw how he looked when he first came out of the box as Ultra Magnus. But yeah, really fun. But that probably be for a video for another day because man, this thing was a piece of mess. Piece of mess. This thing was a piece of mess. For things i don't like is it doesn't have any english instructions second thing i don't like is why the hell does it have this stupid black play-doh 
what the hell is this about? Is there something hidden in the black Play-Doh that I'm supposed to find? Maybe you're supposed to put it to keep it together. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, uh, for real, what is the point of this black Play-Doh? Is it so that I can put it on the pieces that don't connect very good? So they just stay together better? What is the point of this black Play-Doh? It doesn't even have any instructions on the Was it supposed to have something in this black Play-Doh? Because if it is... He didn't have it in mind. I don't understand this, Black Plato. What the hell was the point of this? Please, someone explain that to me. Hasbro, please explain why you came with a weird Black Plato thing. Thank you, sincerely. Also, explain why you didn't write anything in English on the instructions. You didn't, like, tell me, like, step three was fold these things right here up. And then step six was just showing you that they go there. You, you should have said, the pieces you folded in step three go here. <sighs> and it's just all these pictures. No writing, no instructions, no guide, no nothing. No English. The only English is like the... Oh, this is how you put magnets together. See, there's like literally no English. I don't know how anybody in their right mind would pay $60 for this thing when it didn't... It, it, it seriously didn't give me very good instructions. It didn't give me good instructions because they were only in picture. It didn't, give, it didn't give me no English instructions. And is this all it came with? Seriously, this is all it came with? Look how little the warnings are. This is all it came with. A box and this Ultra Magnus guy. It was like a mystery block box. Do they have other ones? I mean, is there a different a different character in each mystery box? Because if not, then the mystery box is not. Is, I, I I don't like dropping like five dollars on a mystery box, let alone sixty foot. Good thing it was on clearance at Walmart for 15 bucks, or I wouldn't have bought the damn thing. <laughs> you got all the frustrations out. It's too complicated. It's not in English. Picture, pictures is not English. No, it's not. This is an adult collector, and no eight year old has 60 bucks. Don't give me no bullshit. Only adults have money. It's not for no uh, kids. Kids would get mad at this damn thing and break the damn thing. It's not for no kids. They don't make toys for kids. They do not make toys for kids. Yeah, that's terrible. Not a box. I mean, this box art's kind of cool, but sixty dollars cool. Warning in twenty different languages. Yeah, it's always going to warn you in 50 million different languages. And all it is, here's the Transformers. Small parts, not for children under three. Then why does it have a plus on it? If it's not in English. Eight is under three. It's not under three. Oh my gosh. Because they have to do all that legal bullshit. Because some stupid person didn't make it. Anyway, that's it. Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Hell, I might put it back in the box like this and try to resell it or something. Because it's just so... Oh, yeah. and put keep on gaming. <laughs> like, Keep on collecting. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, if y'all like Transformers, I don't really recommend this thing. Not at the $60 price tag. No. I don't recommend it either at the picture-only instructions. No. And the snaps are so small, and they barely snap, and I'm afraid I'm going to break the thing if I try to snap it real hard. Need bigger snaps. Always bigger snaps. Needs better connection, connecting snaps. There's like hardly anything that really connects the trailer to the vehicle. 
It's barely connected. It's like the ones they made in the 80s are way better. Go back to making them how you made them in the 80s, fools. Go back. Make them like you did in the 80s when we were kids. They were easier to transform. Way easier to transform. They were easier as fuck to transform back in the 80s. And the pieces weren't so small with snapping. You weren't afraid you were going to break the damn thing. Now they've used crummy, plastic, crappy-ass pieces. They're so cheap. For 60 bucks, this thing should have been made out of metal, not fucking plastic. Shit. And you should have better snappers. Shoot, if you had it made out of metal, you could have magnetic snapping ability. Yeah! Anyway, um, also, make them like you did in the 80s with stronger plastic, better quality plastic, more snappability. Those ones from the 80s were bigger, better. I mean, this is a small ass Ultra Magnus. The Ultra Man is from back in the day. I mean, he's for twice as big as this damn thing. For reals. Uh, had more pieces. Could snap better. The, 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 this blade. See how thin this is? It was thick back in the day. Make them like you did back in the day, Hasbro. Make them like you did back in the day. I don't know why you started making them cheaper. You raised the prices and made the quality worse. If anything, lower the prices if you're going to make the quality worse. Not raise. If you're going to raise the prices, keep the quality up at the same quality, if not better. Quality. Ugh. Yeah, Hasbro. Do it right. Anyway, that's uh, the thing. So, transform us. More than meets the uh, Netflix original series, um, the Netflix original series, um, Ultra Magnus from Transformer Generations to Kara Tommy Toy. Laters, guys and girls, game on, clicked on, transform on, and have a great day. And do not buy any of these transform products. If you want to fork up 60 bucks. If you really gonna fork up 60 bucks, don't buy the new shit. Go buy one of the antique shits from the 80s. They're way worth the... It, it would be worth 60 bucks to get the little transformer that's got better quality thing from the 80s than it would be to spend $60 on this thing nowadays. Even if you can't find a, a weapons. And all you can get is, like, the basic small car. Still way better deal than this. And have a great day. Later. I don't recommend new toys. They're too damn expensive. And their quality is cheap. They want an arm and a leg for plastic. Not even good quality plastic either. Plastic. Cheap plastic. These wheels are so... Look how close these wheels are to the damn ground. They're too close to the vehicle on the ground. It doesn't give you any... Hardly any... Um, that's, that's just wrong. Oh my gosh. Hardly any piece. Uh, just, it's just, just so much wrong with this toy. So much wrong. Price range too high. Always. Quality. Uh, instruction guide. Uh, explanation of how to put the thing together and back and forth. Uh, pictures really pictures only. Ay ay ay. And not even good pictures either. Not even bonus pictures that say, 
Oh, by the way, step... The step you just did in step whatever now goes with step whatever. Exactly. A little writing would help. English. But then, oh, you, if you wrote it in English, you'd have to put it in 20 different other languages. Ugh. No, you don't. Only Americans have the money to buy this shit. Only Americans. Maybe Europeans, but Europeans have, uh, guess what? They speak English. Dumbasses. Only people who ha speak English have the money to buy this stuff, so you only really have to put instructions in English. <sighs> Even if you do make the damn thing in Japan or China or wherever, still only need English instructions. For Americans and Europeans that speak English. Uh, anyway, that's a ranting about it. Uh, that's the toy. It's it's worth fifteen dollars. I mean, it's worth fifteen dollars. Yes, sixty. No. I mean, no, really, no. Because you're not going to play with it. Nobody who gets it is going to play with it. And the worst thing about Transformers is the fact that you actually have to buy two. And the reason you have to buy two is because you want one in car form for your display shelf and one in the Transformer form for your display shelf. Yes, that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of money. No. And in this case... You actually need like four because you need the Ultra Magnus piece right here. You need to be able to transform him into uh, just truck and, and vehicle. Then you need the big version, this trailer and the Ultra Magnus uh, to go with it. So you really need four in this particular case. Who has $250 with taxes? to spend on these damn things. They don't even make that many of them probably so that each person can have four. So you're going to have to look at all these different Walmarts to find them. And then you're going to have to buy one set or two sets from private sector sellers who's going to have bought it, haven't even opened it. Yes, there's these uh, scalpers out there on toys nowadays. They bought it. They, ha they don't even open it. They paid $60 for it, and they're going to charge 200 bucks for the thing that they bought $60 on eBay or some other website. They never, because it's mint condition and it's never been opened, and all that bullshit. Matter of fact, people who did open it like me can probably still get fucking 60 bucks for it like this. Because they only made a limited qualities of them. I know I could at least get 50 bucks for it to the right people. Just like this. Just, you know, because I still had the box and everything. I just got to put the... And I still have the cool Play-Doh and instructions. Yeah. <laughs> I, I seriously need to know what the Play-Doh is about. So somebody please comment down below. <laughs> what the play-doh thing is about uh, are they trying to push play-doh hasbro buy play-doh company too now I, I, seriously what's the play-doh about well uh, i mean really what, what was the play-doh about god i, I just don't get it it, it would have been cool if there was like maybe a little like exclusive mini con or something that you could only got right there that was in there Maybe he was hiding in a Play-Doh or something. Uh, or something. Come on, that would have been kind of cool. If there was like, maybe like a ring or something. Something, something, anything. But there was nothing to even hiding in the Play-Doh. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, this video, this complete video is a spooler. So you now you get to know what it is if you want to, before you chalk up your 60 bucks on the damn thing. But if you're a die-hard Transformer collector, you're going to waste your money anyway because it's Transformers, I gotta have it! But I'm not that die-hard, so... So, 
I'm the person who waits until it gets on knocked down and reduced. Then I buy it. Then I resell it and try to break even at least. Anyway, guys and girls, have a great day. God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you'll probably really dislike this video because of my ranting and raving and not liking the thing that much. But I don't care if you dislike or like the video. Do your thing. And have a great day. Laters.